Okay, so this is a tutorial on how to make uh, cloned objects uh, be animated along a spline and then um, be dynamic and interact with walls. This could be useful for when compositing VFX objects to uh, real world imagery or images. Okay, let's get started. Um, we are here in Cinema 4D. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a capsule. You can use any object, of course. Uh, and then I'm going to add a clone. And I'm going to make it the capsule a child of the clone. And I'm going to scale them down a little bit uh, so that we can fit more. So I'm going to go to the clone uh, and just kind of make the count 555 five, five, uh, so that I have five on each axis. Um, and then I'm going to uh, decrease the size of the space between them. So um, here we go, just so they could be a little bit closer to, to each other, a smaller cluster. Um, okay, this looks uh, pretty good. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a platonic object. This is going to be the object that they follow. And I'm going to add a simulate attractor uh, field. And I'm going to make the attractor a child of the platonic. I'm going to select the attractor and I'm going to add, uh, make the strength 25,000. Um, and uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the uh, project settings and I'm going to go to the dynamics tab general and I'm going to make the gravity about 500 so that it's not competing with the attractor uh, that much. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press play. Nothing happens. That's because we need dynamics tags. So I'm going to select the cloner, tags, uh, simulation tag, and I'm going to make them rigid bodies. Uh, the force, uh, I'm just going to make sure that the collision is applied to children, and then all. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the platonic, and I'm going to add a rigid body, sorry, a collider body tag. And now, um, if I press play, the capsules are attracted to the platonic and they're interacting dynamically with one another. Okay, uh, see if I, um, if I click, uh, if I move my platonic, uh, the capsules are going to attra be attracted to it. And so they're all dynamic and they're bouncing off each other and moving around. This is exactly what I want. Um, now they're all dynamic. Uh, they're following this platonic object around anywhere I move it. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some, uh, some planes so that they could represent walls. Uh, and I'm also going to make these dynamic. So let me stretch this out a little bit. Uh, I'm going to pause this. I'm going to duplicate this by holding a command on my keyboard and dragging on one of the axes. Rotate it uh, 90 degrees. I'm going to move it closer here and move it up. Okay, and I'm going to clone this one again by holding Command and dragging. And there we go. This is um, kind of what I want. I'm going to make these a little bit longer. Uh, so let me move it here so I can see the side. Pull it over here. And then the, finally this one. And let me rotate over here that this one's a little bit longer. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So these could be like an alleyway or something. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these by holding shift object group. And now they're one group uh, under this. No, I'm going to rename it walls. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this and I'm going to add a dynamics tag. So simulation collider body tag. So now they're dynamic, they're collider bodies. So I'm going to my quad view. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a spline that kind of runs through this alleyway. Uh, so I'm going to go to this view. This is my top view so I can see. And I'm using my spline pen tool. And I'm just going to draw um, a spline that kind of goes from side to side uh, first. And then I'm going to adjust it. Okay, so it's making like an S. It's going to snake around. Uh, from side to side. Let me go to object and um, go back to my quad view. And you see they're kind of on the floor. So what I want to do is I want to edit these individual uh, anchor points. So if I go to my um, 
to my points tool, I can individually um, edit these uh, the spline, each point on the spline. So I'm going to move this one up. Um, I'm going to click the next one and I'm going to move it a little bit up and then I'm going to go over to the next one and bring it up here, just kind of in the middle. Uh, the next one over, there we go. And I'm going to bring this one really high up uh, and over to the side a little bit here. And then the last one, finally, I'm just going to uh, bring it up a little bit and over to the left. Okay, this is this is this looks good. This is exactly what I want. I want them to kind of go up and down, side to side, uh, because this is what the platonic is going to be animated on. This is the spline for the platonic. So I'm going to go to the platonic, tags, animation tags, align to spline, and now let's tell it that the spline is this one right here. Okay, so now it goes to the beginning of the spline. I'm at zero time, and if I kind of move forward, you can see that it's animated on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, move the cloner object kind of to where this uh, the platonic object is going to be uh, is going to start. Uh, once I hit play, the the platonic is going to come from the beginning of the spline over here. So I, I want the cloner to be right by the platonic. Um, and I want them to kind of all be, all these clones, I want them to be inside these walls so that they, none of them kind of end up outside and get left out. Okay, uh, I'm going to go back to the position, uh, beginning of time, and I'm going to add a, ta uh, right here I'm just showing you that I have uh, 150 um, frames. And here we go, I've added a, a position, uh, a keyframe at the position of zero. And now I go to the end and I'm going to add another keyframe so that it travels along the spline all the way to the end. I'm going to come in closer and yeah, so this is how you uh, make uh, dynamic clones follow a spline and interact with the uh, with dynamic walls that are in the in the same environment.